Gomez, Joe Rice, Baby Kiv, whatever you want to call him. He wants to be called Wes. As the kick is away, and it's going to be Kiv starting off with the ball first. So get it to the 28-yard line, and man, let's... Let's take a look at these MCS career earnings by Group Group D, over $400,000 between the four of them. Nick, that is insane. For the viewers out there, this Group D, you guys are going to learn so much. These are four of the best players we have in all of Madden. I mean, I'm just so excited to see what these guys are doing. Two former belt winners in this group. We know how good Wesley has been over the last couple of years. And then K-Mac, how is K-Mac in this group? I mean, obviously how much respect there is on Twitch. So many people watch him. One of the great minds. And by the way, something that might get overlooked a little bit, he got one of only two playbooks that had the formation that he wanted. Yeah, he got the playbook he wanted. He got it the same playbook online and in the, dr in the draft here, the live event. Came back one of the best players, really built his Twitch presence this year. Like you said, he's come onto the scene heavy. I well, cannot wait to see how this one goes. These are two guys who lab together, know each other well. Young Kiv and Wesley and for Wesley this is this tournament he's really still looking for that first belt he's looking to get a little more respect the new two sport two e-sport athlete but how, he's saying how much a belt here in Madden would mean to him yeah Wesley's been on the verge he's so good you know the thing with Wesley he does play a little wild sometimes you know he's really good at passing like one of the best we have but he, he will do a little some wild pe plays make some bad reads so he needs to control that if he wants to win this belt safe to say this game isn't going to be ground and pound out of the strong eye between these two no definitely not and when I talked to young kid the other night he said he didn't get the bunch he wanted so you're going to see him play a little a little random go to different formations in this mutt draft mode that's how he likes to approach it you notice right off the bat if you've been watching the last couple of groups he's out of that gun Trey Y flex Popular formation, we saw Boogs run it earlier. So many of these players loving this Trey White flex out of shotgun. As that's Kyler Murray at the helm, he will take off, and that's what Kyler Murray brings to the field. Yeah, Nick, if you don't mind for a second, I'm just gonna run down a list of accomplishments for young kids. Do you want me to go take a seat? I mean, can take a second. 12th major, 226,000, cashed in 10 consecutive majors. There goes Austin Eckler up to the 12 yard line. Continue, sir. Cash in 15 of 17 majors we've ever had in the MCS. I mean, the list goes on. First in career earnings in this field. I mean, most MCS games played in this field. <laughs> it's just the list goes on. The one thing he was last in, rush attempts, because you're not going to see him run the ball a lot. From the beautiful mind of Donnie Moore, in this case from the beautiful voice of Tyler Davis. <laughs> Look at those accomplishments. and. This is about as tough of a matchup as Kiv could get to start out because how well Wes knows his offense. Kylo Murray, only a three-man rush. There goes Murray, and that's the tough part when you're a passer, TD. You're going to see defenses dropping eight into coverage a lot. Yeah, definitely, and you're going to see Wesley try to do something different. You know, like we said, these guys know each other so well. Wesley's going to have to do something that Kiv hasn't seen on defense, but Kiv has seen it all, so it's going to be tough. Handoff, Austin Eckler. Uh, when when I saw Kiv do this draft, which hopefully you guys watched that draft special, I thought Austin Eckler was such a great pickup for him because of what he can do in the passing game. Yeah, so versatile. One of the best pass catchers you can get at running back. But he, he's been using him out of this inside zone. Wesley looks like he's fine with giving that up. Third and two for Kiv. Kyler Murray in the pocket looking underneath. Oh, dangerous throw. Darnell Savage in coverage. They're going to give him the 34-yard line in the first down, but that almost disastrous. Yeah, a little scary right there. He gets that rack egg animation, picks up a big first down on third down. If you like the air attack, you're going to love this game. As Eckler takes the carry right side. And, and TD, we've been talking in the back in between games about how different the gameplay looks in this Mutt Draft format with no abilities versus the salary cap that we were looking at through the club championships. Oh yeah, for sure. This Mutt Draft is about raw talent, your skills. There's no escape bars. You can't run out that well. No abilities on your running back. It's just about raw talent calling great plays. And you're seeing the play calling get mixed up more because you don't have the safety net of some of those abilities. As Austin Eckler will pick up seven. Well, for a guy who doesn't run the ball a whole lot, Five carries, 30 yards, averaging six per carry. Yeah, he sees Wesley's allowing him to give that up in that big dime, one four six. Looks like Wesley's going to switch it up here. Might go to that over G. Kiv looking great in this gun, Trey Y flex. It's crazy to think 12 EA major appearances for a young Kiv. So many close calls. One belt that was, of course, in the Madden 18 Bowl. He's come so close so many times. So many top tens, top fives on his record. Looking for another one here at the Madden Challenge, the 15th iteration. Third down and three. 
Kyler Murray, he'll look to the flight. He'll take that all day. That's John Ross, known as a speedster. He's pretty effective when he's wide open. Yeah, what a play call. Had that tight end in a flat route. Behind it, he had a deep crosser you have to worry about, and then he motioned over a whip route. Just a great play right there to pick up the first down. 226,000 and change in career earnings for young Kip. Back into that gun, Trey Y flex. Back to Austin Eckler, and finally, Wesley able to bring a little pressure up the middle. I saw that coming. Beautiful job by Wesley. Goes to this over G because he does, he wants to stop the inside zone now. He knew it was coming. He was ready, ready for it, and his user blew it up in the backfield. It's timeout taken by Wesley. That's something I think watching the competitive players that, you know, you sometimes miss out on is you got to take some of those first half timeouts when you don't get matched up right because you can't take them to the second half. Yeah, exactly. You can't take them with you, and you want to make sure you're doing everything right. You don't want to make a mistake. Those timeouts in the first half don't matter that much. First time we've seen Odell Beckham Jr. on the field here in the Madden Challenge. It's Kyler Murray up the seam. He'll slide down, pick up five. And that's why a lot of these guys love that Kyler Murray card. Has that speed. Once you turn him into a ball carrier, he's about 88 speed. He can get in space, make some things happen. Big third and six coming up. Well, even though he's a passer, we saw a lot of running from young Kiv, mixing up the run and the pass. We've hit the end of one, it's scoreless, but Kiv facing key third and eight. Yeah, big third and eight on his first drive. He's looked good in this gun, Trey Y flex. He's mixed up his play calls like he said he was gonna do. He likes to audible around in different formations. Looks like he's gonna go to that gun bunch now. He's in the red zone. A lot of players like to go to verticals here. That wheel route, you won't get a bad passing animation once you're in the red zone. I think that's what we're gonna see him do. Into that bunch we've seen so much over the years from young Kip. Murray on third and eight. He's looking to the wheel route. That's Harris, and it's picked off. Callahan back in the end zone. He knows him so well. Saw the wheel route come and said, give me that. We're going the other way. Huge pick by Wesley. Kip thought he could sneak it in the back of the end zone. Wesley said, I know what you're doing. It's verticals. I'm there. He got it. Huge pick. One hair, one mind between these two. And now we get to see Wesley's offense. As you said, TD, Wes. He's a gunslinger. He's going to go out and air the ball out. He's going to take some chances, and that provides for really an anything-can-happen game here against Young Kip. Yeah, one of the best passers out of that gun bunch, but like we said, he does play a little wild. He's going to try to sneak some things in there. He needs to control that if he wants to beat a player like Kiv. And Kiv one of the, had the best. He was ranked number one out of the 16 on defense in the online ladder. Uh, Kiv is really an underrated defensive player. I don't think people give him enough credit. Let's see what Wesley can do. Yeah, that, that's something that, you know, he's known as an offensive mind, almost robotic on offense. The defense has been what a lot of people have said have held him back in prior majors, but he's made a big improvement this year. So we get to see Wesley on offense for the first time. That's Derek Carr at quarterback, the Oakland Raider. That spin move didn't fool anybody. Cunningham in the backfield, he'll lose five. Yeah, nothing going there. Derek Carr in the backfield for a sack. Kiv in that 3-4 even, played a lot of coverage defense right there. And Wesley in this Houston Texans offensive playbook, they have one of the best bunches. You're going to see they have a crossing, a crossing route play. They also have Texans trail where you'll see a post. Wesley's fourth EA major appearance here at the Madden Challenge. As he'll throw this one away. He has uh, in his prior three EA major appearances, TD, all top fives. Fifth place at the Madden 17 Challenge, fifth place at the clubs, fifth place at the Challenge in Madden 19. Carr, third and long. Pressure holds up. He's going over the top, looking for Tyreek Hill. On. Griffin's out there, but Tyreek is oh too my. fast. Just like we said, West is going to take some chances, and he does it right there. A little bit of a risky throw, but he clicks on, makes a nice swerve with Tyreek for a huge play on that post route. How many players would you trust to get over the top of Shaq Griffin? I think it's maybe two. Tyreek and Hollywood. Maybe Carr. Dante Hall as well, but yeah, there's not many. I mean, that is just an absolute lethal defender underneath. If that ball is even slightly underthrown, you've given away your possession. And we saw Kiv in his interview. He was so excited to get that Shaq Griffin. And right there, it cost him. Near the red zone for Wesley. He's going to come down to the single back bunch. Toss play to Raheem Mostert. And he's got some blockers. And he's got a swerve. And he's got a touchdown. Wesley, known as a passer, says, I got a little run game myself, Kiv. What a play call by Wesley. Audible's down to the single back bunch toss. I don't think Kiv was expecting it. And a big touchdown run from Raheem Mostert. 
Ty, it seems like when we watch young Kiv, he, he does seem to fall into early deficits. What do you think is the cause of that? I don't know. Yeah, we saw that in the in the Seahawks Club Series. So we take a look at this replay, just Raheem Mostert outside. Every, every 49ers fan is hoping they see this from Raheem Mostert on Sunday. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Is it... I, I don't want to say it's taking his opponent lightly, but is it a feeling out process for Kip? Because it seems like once you get to the second half, that's when we see the best Kip. Yeah, sometimes it just takes getting into a groove. You know, some people start off slow. That's been the thing for Kip lately. I expect him to bounce back, though. He's tough. He's so tough to stop. First and 10 for Kyler. Steps up in the pocket, sliding down at the 31-yard line. Give him four. So far, that's been the majority of the offense for Kibb. Some scrambles from Kyler Murray and Austin Eckler on the ground. Yeah, Wesley's doing a great job mixing up coverages, going to that big nickel over G now, giving Kibb a little bit of trouble right now. He's going to audible to a bubble screen here, a little RPO action. It's only got one blocker out there. There's only one defender out there. That's Peanut Tillman. He'll make the tackle. That's an easy 11 yards. Yeah, throws it up to that Andy Isabella card. Not a high overall rated card, but has a lot of speed, and he's great in the open field. Doesn't really matter what threshold you have when you're throwing a bubble screen out there. Just make sure you catch the ball. So he'll take this all the way down to the two minute warning. Seven nothing Wesley on top. This group, as we've mentioned, loaded. Wesley, Kiv, Ghost, and K-Mac. When you ask people around, you know, in the players lounge who they have as their favorite, it seems like we got all four answers. Oh yeah, this is the best group I think of the tournament. Um, two belt winners and then two guys who were so respected. And people forget about Ghostman, Madden 18, Club Series champion, has that belt. Can't wait to see what he's doing later on. Odell Beckham Jr. split out wide left. Kyler Murray dropping back to pass. Five-man rush. A little bit of pressure, but gives him time to find Andy Isabella. Doesn't matter what his overall is. He's finding holes in this defense. Yeah, great corner up right there. He's coming out in that Trey Y flex, so he's able to get four receivers on the field. Audible to that gun bunch. So he gets a receiver at tight end, throws that corner out. And off to Eckler, nowhere to go. As out of the 16 players here at the challenge, the online ladders, Kiv only averaged just over five and a half yards per carry. Look way better in this game. So he'll look left side. That's Marvin Harrison. That's the young Kiv we've come to know and love. Yeah, great play right there. Goes to that crossing route that's so popular in that gun tray wide flex. Wesley a little bit behind it on his user. First down and 10. Other stat that I love to read about Kibbe, he's number one in offensive audible percentage. He calls a play and then you just, you can't even, he's audible's on 72% of his play calls. Yeah, and now he's got Austin Echo a little tired here. That's the thing, he only drafted one running back. So he's gonna, you know, move his formations back and forth to get him uh, more energized. But like you said, Nick, great point. He loves to audible around. He's doing that right now, going to different uh, plays, runs, passes that he sees fit for a different defense. Let's see if he can cash in and tie this game up. 20 seconds and counting. He's still got three timeouts. He'll give it to Eckler. A little inside zone to the right side. Maybe gets two. He'll use his first timeout. Yeah, and this is where it gets really tough at the seven-yard line. Going to go stay in that I-form wing. We'll see what he's cooked up here in the red zone. you got to think he has a couple pass plays maybe out of this formation. Said when he was drafting his team, his key was to get a lot of defensive backs. He likes to run that dime defense. So perhaps that's part of the sacrifice, is only getting one running back. Murray, second and goal. Back of the end zone. That's once again the wrong team. That's Peanut Tillman. He's got a blocker. There goes Tillman. Up to the 17-yard line. Two red zone possessions for Kim. Two interceptions. Yeah, bad read. Looks like he had the corner out with A. If he would have waited, it was getting to the back of the end zone, and he tried to throw that backside post. Wesley all over it for another big pick. Looking for the end zone. All he got was Peanut. Seven seconds left. In the first half, Wesley a 7-0 lead. Looks like he's going to try to get Mostert on a big hitter and get to halftime. Hill in motion. Stretch run to the left. He's got a couple blockers. He'll get to the 28-yard line use the timeout. And, man, Wesley's saying, he's saying, Kiv, I'm not the prodigy anymore. I'm the teacher. Showing Kiv the business right now. 7-0, and he gets ball at half. This game far from over. As if you're Kib, you got to feel okay. You threw two interceptions. Right down by seven. Make sure you get a tackle here on Mostert, though. 
Spins oh. back inside. Make sure you get a tackle on Mostert. He almost broke it. Oh, that could have been disaster. We've reached halftime here in the first game of Group D. It is seven nothing. Wesley on top of Young Kiv. James, we're having a blast over here. What's going on over there? Nick, you're Nick. Mazesco, of course you're having a blast, pal. You're always having a blast. <laughs> Make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account to receive Twitch drops for a chance to score up to two challenge exclusive legends, a Net92 OVR Deion Sanders and a Net92 OVR Devin Hester. Always nice to have Devin Hester or prime time on any of your squads. And as we take a sneak peek, into the Snickers Players Lounge. There they are, checking out the great play. We got Little Man in there, we got Bugs. I see, I think I see Clef in there. Lounging, Crush, what's going on? Group A, B, all done. And man, we got a great start to Group D right now. We're gonna kick off the second half and we send it back to Nick Mazesco and T. Davis. Thanks so much, James. Make sure you get those EA accounts linked. TD, I always, I always say it's nothing better than getting something that's free, and it's even better when those free things are Deion Sanders and Devin Hester. Oh, yeah, and I just got one of those Champ Baileys. I'm excited. Uh, don't brag about that. People at home are going to get mad. <laughs> Definitely love those free cards you can get. Guys, make sure you subscribe to our Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel. We got VODs of all the games. Lots of content over there, so make sure you head over to YouTube and subscribe. Wesley in the shotgun. So he wants to check in on those mutt drafts. We got footage from all of them. And that was as the fun part about mutt draft. That's a loss of six on the play. Big defensive play for Kib, putting Wesley in a hole early. Yeah, Wesley seeing them go to that 3-4 even. Thinks he can get to the outside with a toss. But Wesley saw it coming all over it. Makes a great user play in the backfield. And that, that end of half play was huge for Kib because that was, went for a touchdown. That would have been a dagger. Kib's still alive in this game. Car dropping back, he'll take off. Let's talk about the secondary for young Kip because he was really happy with it. He got Shaquille Griffin, he's got Desmond Trufant out there, he's got Julian Love. The big key was in that mixed secondary round, he got Troy Apke, low OVR, but we know how good he is in Ultimate Team because the speed he brings, you can see him using in the middle, take away just about every round, nowhere to go for Carr. Yeah, you see him using with that Literally Troy Apke and he forces a huge three and out right there. A free seven, gave him a free seven. As he's saying, he gave him a free seven and a big stop right there for Kiv. Getting the ball back now, swinging the momentum in his favor. Kiv's not usually a big talker. Does this, he seems out of his own. He seems a little shook right now. It's only seven nothing, but he seems frustrated. I think he's, yeah, I think frustrated is the word I think for sure. You know, he gave up that big bomb to Tyreek, which I think he was upset about. Oh, that's picked off. Oh, I was almost like, where's oh his defender God. going? Come on. Made a big circle around Kyler Murray. He just knew the pick was coming down the field. Telvin Smith. Yeah, I think Kiv thought the linebacker wouldn't get there because, you know, it's hard for these linebackers to get back there on those crossing routes. But Wesley with a great user pick right there. And now he's back in control, up seven. He's talking about he couldn't move the ball on offense. Done a great job of finding Kiv's defenders three times today. Toss play. Raheem Mostert's got some room. Amos can't make the tackle. Troy Apke with a touchdown saver. Yeah, he's had a lot of success with this toss. He must like something he sees versus 3-4 even. Keeps going back to it. And we always talk about Wesley's offense, but man, what phenomenal defense he's played in this game so far. Especially inside the red zone. He's made it hard for Young Kiv to get any points. His car outside of the pocket. He keeps going into that runner mode. You can tell Derek Carr is not a scrambler. No, he's not. He tried to hit that corner route a couple times there. Just hasn't been open. Smart play right there. Throws the ball away with Derek Carr. 7-0 here in the third quarter. Feels like it should be a lot bigger lead for Wesley because he has been in firm control. Now you start to see Kiv's defense coming together. It's kept Wesley only one for five. Unfortunately, that one is for a touchdown. Yeah, great mix-up right there. He finally goes to bring some heat. I think he needs to do that. Uh, mix up your coverages versus Wesley. Get him off balance. He brings the heat there. Lone. Wesley only sending out two routes right here. And he's looking for Hill on the left side. Can't make the play with true font. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, 79 yards. Not a bad day. 
Goes to that play post cross. That crossing route from the bunch side, just so hard to stop there. He had a uh, dig route coming from the other side, really stretches the user. Goes back to the toss here. And there's Allen in the backfield, able to bring down Raheem Mostert. Yeah, I, li I like Wesley's game plan a lot right now. I really do. He's mixing it up, going to that toss when he sees the 3 4 even. And uh, if you're Kiv, you got to apply some pressure here. I, I would bring the heat, make Wesley make a read on you. Start worrying about that clock as we're under two and a half to go in the third quarter. Wesley's offense back on the field. Keeps sending out these two routes. It's an interesting strategy. He's really trying to pick up the pressure, but there's a lot of quarterbacks back there on only two routes. Yeah, it's such a chess match going on right now. You know, Wesley thinks he's going to bring the heat out of that 3-4. Even Kiv knows that, so he's playing back in coverage. It's really a chess match going on right now. Wesley with a big third and 11. Wesley with a big third and 11. Kiv with a big third and 11. The 26 yard line, he's in field goal range, but you don't want to give up more than three. See, so it looks like Wesley going to a verticals concept. Only a three man rush one more time. Looking for Winslow. Low balls that out route. He doesn't pick up the first down. It's going to be fourth and two in decision time. No decision whatsoever. It's field goal to go up by 10. Yeah, great play call right there by Wesley. He just got an unfortunate animation on that possession catch, rolled backwards two yards. And Kiv still in this game, not only going to be down 10 nothing, but he's got to get the ball down the field fast. From the right hash mark. Kick is up. It is good. 10 nothing to score. Now for Kiv, got to feel, I mean, you've thrown three interceptions. You haven't had any offense. And with a minute left, you're still only down by two scores. You still got to feel like you got a good chance in this game. I mean, look, if there's anyone in the Madden community you want the ball with on offense to, to bring yourself back, there's a short list, and Kiv is one of the top names on there. So definitely still in this game completely. Third quarter, plenty of time to go. Let's see if he can get it going on offense. He's been able to get the round game rolling with Austin Eckler. He'll go to it one more time inside zone near the first down marker. Let's see if they give it to him. They do indeed. Eckler's been solid all game long. Yeah, he has. That inside zone up the middle. Kiv has made some uncharacteristic mistakes on offense, passing the ball. His reads haven't been that sharp. Let's see. Looks like he's going to go back to that bread and butter, which is his gun bunch he's so accustomed to. Puts the bunch on the right side. Now flips it back to the left. So tough to play against somebody you lab against because they just know every trick in the book. As there's pressure up the middle, it gets rid of him, finds Eckler to the backfield. Oh, what a read from Kiv. Yeah, I love the play call right there. It goes with double wheel routes. He has a wheel route to the running back, and then the opposite side, he had the tight end, which is a receiver because the way he's audibling on a wheel route. Phenomenal play call. As put your fours up in the chat. We're in the fourth quarter. It's 10-0, but Kiv's on the drive. Second and short. He's got Harrison to the right side. Beckham and Isabella on the left side. Now Beckham will move all the way over to the right side of that formation. Kyler Murray on second and short. Looks over the middle, dangerous throw. Oh, he almost threw interception number four, and Wesley can't believe it. Yeah, a real dangerous pass right there by Kiv. He tried to sneak that post in there, and Wesley with a good click on makes a play on it. Third and inches now. I'd expect an inside zone maybe here. Wesley making a lot of adjustments right now on defense. He's got the table route wide open, yeah. Eckler wide open in the flat. Listen, sometimes it doesn't have to be flashy, TD. Pick up your first down on third and short. Keep the drive alive. Inside the 40-yard line is Young Kiv. It's been a dog fight here in game one of Group D. We got so much action to come as Murray, he's down. Jarrell Casey had a big game yesterday in group play. He's having a big play here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they were talking about Jarrell Casey in the players' lounge yesterday. Both these guys saying how they wanted him to come up huge for them. Right there comes up huge for Wesley to, to force a huge second and 19. Got Andy Isabella. Nobody over the top of him in the slot. Murray looks to the flat. Finds John Ross. It's an unfortunate animation for Kiv. You never want to see that stumble backwards because you know you're going to get it where he ends up, not forward progress. Yeah, just a little flat right, right there to John Ross and an unfortunate animation. Now we're in a third and 18. you got to try to get in field goal range. 
Need points if you're Kiv. Murray. He's stuck on his D-tackle. Two-man rush. Stuck on his D-tackle. That spells disaster as Marvin Harrison with a sliding catch on the sidelines. And Marvin Harrison has that route running threshold. That's why he utilizes him there at that crossing route. Gets to the sideline. Huge play for Kiv. Bubble screen. Again, only one receiver out there. I think he's going to hand it off here on the RPO. He does hand it off to Eckler. Well, maybe he should have thrown the bubble screen. He had the matchup, the look he wanted. Maybe he overthought it a little bit. Get to check in with James and the guys at the desk on our other game, Ghost and K-Mac. That one was a competitive one, I can only assume, as he almost found John Ross at the pylon just out of reach. Yeah, just couldn't get to the pylon fast enough. Looked like it was kind of open, but just couldn't get the right pass he wanted. And a big third and 13. Wesley making a lot of adjustments on defense. Kiv audibling around in that gun bunch now. Look for a corner route. See what he decides to do out of the bunch, which he's been so good out of the last couple of years. Murray dropping back. Four-man rush this time from Wesley. He's rolling right. He's going to take off with Murray. Out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Sets up a fourth and three in decision time for Kiv. Looks like he's going to take his points. Yeah, nice play call right there. He motioned over the corner, turned into a post. He had the backside dig. Wesley saw it and uh, takes the three here. I think it's the smart choice. I know he probably wanted to go for it, but you can't. You've been playing pretty good defense. TD, I got the pleasure to have dinner last night with, uh, with both Wes and with Kiv, and it was interesting talking to them they were talking about the, the, how different the strategy is here in Mutt Draft because of the format. Fourth and three in salary cap is almost a no-brainer go for it every time, but we're seeing more and more players here in Mutt Draft kicking the points because it's so hard to score. Yeah, it's really hard to score. I mean, just look at this. 10-3 to three with two of the best passers and offensive players we have in all of Madden. 10-3, to three, it's just super hard to move the ball on the field in Mutt Draft, so you have to take your points when you can. Car dropping back on first and 10, rolling out right side. Not quite the speed of Kyler Murray from the Oakland Raider. I thought he wanted to throw that wheel route. I really did. I feel like if we were in regs or salary cap and we had dashing dead eye and escape ours, he might have thrown that. But he holds on to it. Smart decision. Picks up three. And as you can see, the thoughtful mind of Wesley letting this clock run down. Under three to go. And... I think we knew this was going to be a dogfight between Wes and Kidd. The problem is they've got two dogfights ahead of them because there's no way their matchups against Ghost and K-Mac are going to be any easier. Oh, no, that, not, not at all. I mean, one of the best groups we've seen in the Madden Challenge. Looks underneath for Irvin. Good user with Troy Aki. Keeps him in front of the first down marker. Kiv uses the first of his three timeouts. Third and two upcoming. Yeah, Wesley stayed in bounds right there. That was key. Now it's a big third and two for Kiv. You've got to get off the field right here. Here comes Carr on third down. Looking underneath. Diving catch. Tyree kills. Been making plays all tournament long. Oh, my God. Yeah, he goes to that post cross. Kind of like the mesh post setup we've seen so often the last couple of years. Two drags and a deep crosser over that. Really hard to stop. Hits the drag underneath for a huge first down. And now Kiv is really in trouble here. He's in a box because he's got to find a way to make those two timeouts. And the runoff from third down. Get the ball back and score points. That's a lot harder to do, especially against a guy in Wesley who, you know, he was saying last night, I don't want people to know me as an offensive player. I want people to know me as a balanced player. And we're seeing right now the improved defense from Wesley as he's held one of the best offensive minds to only three points. Pressure on first and 10. Down goes Carr. Screamer, that was just about everybody in the backfield. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and Kiv brings the goons, gets a big sack. I think he's got to bring the heat from here on out. Make Wesley make a decision, maybe make a bad decision. And you know Wesley, he's not going to be running the ball. He's not going to get in the eye form and pound the rock. He's still going to air it out. Second and 14. He finds Irvin. Tackle by Brown at the 41. Only five. No timeouts remaining for young Kiv. This third and nine, the ball game. Yeah, here it is. If you're Kiv, you got to get off the field. The biggest play of the game. Nice completion right there by Wesley. You know, he doesn't even try to run the ball. He's just throwing it, throwing the ball around. Stays in bounds, nice completion, but here it is, biggest play of the game so far. 
What sort of play does Wesley have drawn up for this, TD, when you're playing against somebody in Kiv who knows everything you run? Is this just about executing better than the other person? Is there a trick play up his sleeve? If I'm Kiv, I'm bringing the heat right here. Make Wesley make a decision. He does bring the heat. It's picked up nicely. Only two routes out there. He's looking for Cooks. It's picked up by Shaq Griffin. And here he goes the other way inside the 50-yard line. He's down to the 48. The it's first seven. mistake from West has given young Kiv life. He said yesterday that Shaq Griffin he was so excited to get. And in the biggest play of the game, he comes up huge for him. And here we go. Young Kiv with a money drive to tie the game. Shaq Griffin looking like a Griffin, soaring through the air for that interception. And Kiv brought back, he's got no timeouts, but a short field to work with. Hitch route over the middle, that's John Ross, 137 to go. I'm standing up, Nick. You know how I get excited at the end of these games. Oh man, here we go. I can confirm TD has stood up. Looks over the middle, diving play, OBJ inside the 30. Ooh, scary play right there, he's going with the hurry up. A minute to go, that was a 50-50 ball. He, he got it. He's going to the gun bunch here. I, I also can confirm Drini has stood up as well. We're getting everybody to stand up in the studio. First and ten. Murray throws it away. Yeah, I thought he might have thrown that wheel route. A little risky, though. Throws it out of bounds, and wow, the Kiver with the fight, man. Th three interceptions he's thrown. And he's still alive. And he's still alive in the game. Wow, what a ball game between two of the best, two best friends as well. But TD, remember, this is where Kiv's thrown two of his interceptions. He has not gotten, he's gotten in the red zone a couple times, but he has not done well with the compressed field. You're right, the red zone's been, you know, his biggest problem. Let's see what he can do. Second down and 10. Isabella in motion, the speedster. Only a three-man rush, stepping up. No one there, he'll take off. He's got the first down and more to the 17-yard line. Clock is running. He'll hurry to the line and spike it with 29 seconds remaining. Yeah, he had to spike right there. Good decision. 29 seconds now is plenty of time here, but you cannot take a sack. You definitely cannot take a sack. He's trying to get his guys some energy. You can see they're a little yellow, a little tired. I got I to gotta know in the chat. Who's, who's coming out on top in this one? Is Kiv going to pull off the comeback? Is Wesley going to hang on? Give me a one for Kiv. Give me a two for Wes. Because this one's coming down to the wire. Yeah, so many times we've seen Kiv in these clutch moments make a play. Who's going to step up? Is it going to be Kiv? Or can Wesley do it here on defense? Let's see. They're locked in. 10 to 3. Murray. Three-man rush, pressure coming, looking right side, dangerous throw. Oh, oh BJ makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That might be the best four-yard grab. Yeah, real scary. Kid wanted to hit a quick streak route in the end zone. Wesley was all over it, knew it was coming. Kind of a bad read right there, but he's fortunate to get out of bounds. Trust your best players when you need them to make their best plays. Into the bunch. Murray. Corner out. Looking right side, he's waiting for that corner out. It's not there. Oh, he had the dig coming across the end zone. But just stepped out of bounds, and now he needs seven, but he needs seven yards to stay alive. Here we go, Nick. Fourth and seven, young Kiv with the ball. I mean, <laughs> he wouldn't be here if he didn't have a play for fourth and seven. What's he going to cook up? This is pressure. Fourth down and seven. No timeouts. 19 seconds on the clock. You need a first down, you need a touchdown. Does he go for it all? Here we go. Only a three man rush from West. Stepping up. He's got Looking the wheel the for a three man catch in the end zone. Baby. Austin Eckler has Kim one extra point away from tying this ball game up. The clutchest man in Madden, Come Young on. Kiv, with a phenomenal dot to tie the game to go to overtime. Insanity here at the right Madden the Challenge. Middle. Iced right extra point, it's up, it is good. Young Kiv, never a doubt, ties this ball game up. He says, I do this, and what a play. Oh, man. So clutch right there. The halfback wheel in the end zone possession catch. Just a great job. We're going to have to change it from the comeback kid to the comeback kid. As let's take a look at this one more time, TD. Just a simple wheel route. Eckler's been so good. Yeah, he low balls it right there. Clicks on possession catch. Eckler with a huge play. You can see the emotion.
looking like he's yelling at his son. You know what I do? I taught you everything I know. But hey, here we go. The prodigy has the ball with 10 seconds left. Wesley, you know, some people say, give son, whatever. He can make a name for himself. He can stand up. He can be the father. Hey, he's going to sit down as Kiv's defense gets there. Four seconds left. I won't lie to you, Nick, though. I would love to see some extra football with these two, two of the best we have. I'm definitely looking forward to some overtime here. TD, uh, this feels like a backbreaker for Wesley. I mean, you had firm control of this game. You had Kiv in a box, and you give up that touchdown as Mostert goes to the outside, and we're going to head to OT. How does Wesley recover from this? Yeah, all the momentum is on Kiv's side right now. If you're Wesley, though, you got to fight back. you got to focus. What a way to kick off Group D. Put your fives up in the chat. We got extra football. Ten apiece, Kiv and Wes. TD, you couldn't ask for a better way to kick off the second half of day two. I know the chat's got to be loving this. You couldn't ask for much more out of the two best players we have, and here they are proving everyone right in overtime. Hey, here we go. Wesley's going to get the ball first to start off the overtime period. The fourth quarter really dominated by Young Kiv. That big stop, and then he just... He just hit a second level, a second gear, a third gear on that drive to tie the ball game up. Here goes Wes on first and ten. Outside of the pocket with Carr. He's got Irvin, but he got it inaccurate on the run. No dashing dead eye here in D.C. Super unfortunate. He tries to throw on the run. Derek Carr doesn't have great on the run uh, ratings, and it pays dividends right there, costing him a big play. Second and ten. Carr over the middle. Hill. Met immediately by Devin Bush, one of those speedy linebackers that Kiv has built this defense around. Yeah, Kiv really tightening up on defense right now, not allowing these drags to get much separation. Uh, big third and five already for young Wesley Gittens. Third and five. What's he going to do? Goes back to that post. Playmakers wow. a mop. Huge completion of Michael Irvin. Wow, what a play by Wesley. Oh, where's my flag? To the 39-yard line he goes, and Kiv cannot believe his defense gave that up. He spent so much on that secondary. And look, the pressure picked up nicely. He'll look underneath to Brandon Cooks to the 35-yard line. Yeah, you can see Kiv getting a little frustrated, a little desperate now, decides to bring the heat. Someone's got to step up here, second and six. Second and six. 325 and counting. Carr, right oh. side. Overthrow! Oh, oh, he had the pick! He Come had on. the pick! He can't believe it! Oh my goodness! Kiv cannot believe it. The game was over. It was a pick six, and he drops it. You never see, you don't see that often, a drop a pick like that. TD, look at the crowd we have here in the studio. Everyone's on their feet for overtime action. Car outside of the pocket. He's got a man. That's Irving inside the 15, inside the 10. Oh, Kiv is shook. He can't believe he doesn't have the ball right now. Kiv is in shock. Wesley is saying, come on, I'm so close. Eight yards to go now to start the day 1-0 and in Group D. Back and forth we go. Everyone locked in. Tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your grandma to get here. Because we got a ball game. Carr, quarterback draw. He runs the quarterback draw and maybe gets half a yard. Trying to catch Kiv off guard with the QB draw with Derek Carr. Very unexpected play from Wesley. And we're in that red zone territory, Nick. Like we said, very difficult to score down here. This is where it tightens up, folks. 10-10, N-O-T, first possession. Mostert at the top of the eye. Stretch run, trying to hit the edge. Oh, there's the speed from the secondary of young Kiv as Adrian Amos makes the play. Looked like he had the numbers there, Nick. Kiv doing a great job with his pursuit to get over there, and now a big third and goal. Remember, a touchdown wins the game, a field goal, and Kiv will get a chance. Everyone on their feet, locked in. This is competitive Madden at its best. Looks like Wes is going to be coming out in the bunch. Kiv's going to take a timeout. 
Yeah, he's going to think about it. Both these guys really dialed in right now, thinking about what they need to do. Seven yards to glory if you're Wesley, and seven yards to stop if you're Kiff for another chance in this game. TD, it's seven yards. It sounds so simple, but it really is so difficult. Gun bunch for Wes. The formation that Kiv has perfected. Does he have a defensive stop in him? I like this play, Nick. Here he goes. Third and goal. Stepping up. No one there. Carbozo oh, pulls out his pick up by Belaga. Oh Kiv can't believe it. Are you oh, Two potential turnovers go the way of baby Kiv. Crazy sequence of events. I like the play call. He could have lowballed those curl routes, but he got his slot receiver got bumped. Then he tries to run with Carr and a fumble. Can't re Kiv can't recover. Kicks the field goal, and now the pressure is on Kiv again. We saw what he did in the end of regulation. Can he do it again in overtime? But TD, most importantly, Kiv's still alive. Although after that hit, he might not be. Yeah, big hit right there. Here we go, man. Young Kiv. 226,000 career winnings, back at it again right now, getting his guy set up in that Trey Y flex. Let's get it, man, let's see. Who will come out on top? Throw your kids in the chat if you're rooting for young Kiv. Throw your Wesley in the chat if you're rooting for Wesley. Murray, pitch route, John Ross. Give him six. Yeah, nice little low ball hitch right there. He, he had a couple, he had one deep streak, there, everything else was underneath routes. Wesley's finally giving up that right there. A nice little dot to John Ross. Into that gun, Trey Y flex. Remember running with the Titans playbook. Not the playbook Kiv wanted when he started. How about a drop play to Eckler, and first down and more to the 48 yard line. Yeah, great play call right there. Draw plays are much better in these offset formations than they are in normal uh, running back alignment formations. Nice play right there. He's going to verticals. Going for it. Let's go. And it's picked off by Tillman. Oh Wesley God. seals it with an interception. And Wesley starts with a W. And he gets the W to kick off group D.